let's bring in one of the most dynamic players in the league now. His name is James Blackman, and he joins us from Bloomington. So the last time you were on the court, you had scored 33 points and made six three-pointers. James, just, just do that every game now. Cool? <laughs> I'll try to. I'll try my best. What is the difference from when you're hot in a game versus when you're not having one of your best games? Um, just really... Uh the ball going in the basket, but I, I try to not let that affect me and, and uh, get the team going in other ways. And, and my teammates do a great job of just rallying with each other, and uh, I feel like that's what we did this weekend. How early into a game can you tell either that you don't have it or that you definitely do have it? Uh, I mean, I always feel like uh, uh, I'm able to score the ball, so I never really try and focus on that. Um, it's just a mindset thing, and, and, and I never really try to focus on that. I try to focus on defense and other things to get the game going. How's your role different now that OG is done for the year? Um, I think it's not just one person's role that's different. I think it's everyone um, as a collective group, because that's the type of team we are. It's never going to be one person. Uh, I think everyone on this team will step up. Is he, like, what's his personality? Is he going to be like a rah-rah type of guy who's still there and involved in huddles, or is he more of a guy who's sort of led by his actions? Um, he's, he's not like a rah-rah type of guy, but uh, he's always led by, by his actions, and, and he's a guy that will always be there for his teammates. Um, he's so uh, unselfish, and, and he always puts his teammates first, so he'll still, he'll still always be there. Who is the loudest guy on your team? Uh, gotta be Thomas. Why? <laughs> um, he's just always bringing that energy. That's just his personality, and that's something we look for for him to bring, and, and everyone feeds off of that. So he's the biggest talker on your squad? Um, yes, I say uh, on the court uh, he talks a lot. Um, that's his way of uh, showing energy and uh, getting guys going, and, and we got other players who di do different things. Who on the team does the best impression of Tom Crean? Probably Robert Johnson. <laughs> yeah? How good is it? <laughs> uh, it's really good. He, uh, I think he has him down. I think he has him down pretty well. Take me back to your game-winning shot you had the other day against Penn State. What was the original plan there? Uh, just coach. the coaches were telling me um, the uh, the previous few plays that I should have been more aggressive in trying to go get the ball and uh, uh, they they tried to make sure that on that last play and and coach Crean just told me to uh, shoot the ball how I always do and and uh, don't worry about it so in your mind did it turn out like going to the right side of the court exactly how you thought it would go uh, yeah because that was the uh, play that was written up and I just followed the play and um, that's how I would imagine it to be before it actually happened. Your immediate reaction was a little, little shush gesture <laughs> to everybody. How come? Uh, just really all the adversity we've been through. Uh, we, we, we go through a lot here, but I feel like we, uh, we do a great job of fighting through it and, and coming together as a team. And it, it was just a, a natural reaction. It wasn't anything I was trying to do uh, to their fans or anything like that. That being said, how quiet was that building after you hit that shot? Uh, it was really, it was really quiet. All you heard was uh, our guys celebrating. So uh, that's something that we always look forward to doing. How many buzzer beaters have you had in your life? I've hit a couple in high school, um, but probably not that many at all. Um, so probably only five or something like that. How many have you had that didn't go in? I've had a lot uh, that didn't go in, um, but that's part, that's part of growing as a player, I feel like, and, and you got to be willing to uh, take those shots to make them. Is there anything you can learn from a missed buzzer beater, or is it just, hey, you got a shot up, and it either does or doesn't go in? Definitely. I feel like you can learn from uh, everything, um, especially a missed buzzer beater, because you have to have a short memory, and you have to always think that your next shot is going in. Do you treat it like you would any normal shot, or do you know it's a game winner, and hence, you're at the end of the game, you, you try to have more legs in you, or, or something like that? Uh, I, I just try to stick to what I do, because that's something that I, I work on a lot, my shot. Um, so I just try to stick to uh, my regular form and routine, and uh, it worked out. What was the best part about it? 
Uh, really getting to celebrate uh, with my team. Um, afterwards, the locker room, uh, the emotion, uh, everything that was going on in the locker room. So that was probably the best part about it. Did you hear anything either on social media from anybody fun or once you get back to campus? Uh, yeah, once I got back to campus uh, in my classes, uh, they were showing it. And uh, it, it was pretty fun to watch and see how everyone enjoyed it. Wait, wait, they were showing it like on a big screen or like on their phones, people around you? Yeah, yeah, like I was in class uh, the other day and uh, the, the teacher just decided to pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, he knew I was there because I sit in the front row, so he just decided to pull it up, and everyone just was clapping, and uh, a lot of people enjoyed it. <laughs> what did he say about it? He was just like, great job, and uh, keep, it, keep it going or something like that. And uh, I just said, thank you. All right. Before we let you go, James, you got a Super Bowl pick for me? Uh, I want the Falcons to win. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think the Falcons are going to win it. Yeah, you're going with your heart there, not your head, though. Yeah, yeah, because uh, it seems like the Patriots always get it. James Blackman, good luck with your Super Bowl pick. And, of course, with the rest of your basketball season, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it.